the heart of Devon, a quiet revolution is underway. Driven by enthusiasm and a passion for nature, school children across Exeter are learning that they can be world changers. This is the story of Devon Wildlife Trust's Wildlife Champions. In 2010, the Wildlife Trust launched the Wildlife Champions Project with a group of schools in Exeter, determined to engage a new generation with nature conservation, enabling them to effect change in their local area for the benefit of wildlife. Classrooms are great, you know, I was a teacher and I believe in all that kind of education, but there are just some children, in fact, probably all children need to be outside, but some come alive outside. You know, the problems that they face, the difficulties they're having, the struggles to behave in school, you just don't see it. And that's what it's about. It's about inspiring them to see that there's another way. It's about inspiring teachers to see that kids need something different all the time. And we just love doing it. I work with children that don't have English as their first language. Never had much contact or participated in any learning. They have certainly just come out with themselves and I think that's the bit I love the most. They've just brought this whole world alive for them. It's just been amazing. So we've got loads of cool things. It isn't. It yeah. Is yeah. Fallen in. Thanks to the support from the players of People's Postcode Lottery, the work has expanded, allowing students of different backgrounds to experience nature firsthand. One of the schools to benefit from the expansion in the project is Iska. I found a, a woodland area at the back of a school that was being unused and as a science teacher I wanted to take advantage of it and use it as a, as a resource for our students. It was so overgrown that I felt I needed a bit of help finding out what to do with it and how best to use it so I contacted uh, Paul at Devon Wildlife Trust and uh, he came and had a look and uh, encouraged me to join the Wildlife Champions. I recruited a team of students and over the course of a year uh, we opened up the woodland area, we've established a nature trail, uh, we've started to establish wildlife habitats and as time has gone on the students have got increasingly independent and they're starting to um, kind of make choices for themselves about what they want to do, clear the path, pick up litter. Week on week we're making progress and you can see the, the effect it's having. On your feet. On your feet, on your feet. Come on then, ready, here we go. One of the first schools in the project was Stoke Hill Infants and Nursery. Head teacher Sarah Mackay has seen the benefits of using nature in the curriculum, enriching the learning experience across the school. Absolutely amazing, they're inspirational. They've come in to support um, the curriculum. And what started as a small partnership has really grown and grown. We've shaped our curriculum around their expertise and their involvement and I've noticed a huge change in children's attitudes and behaviour and learning and just pure enjoyment of coming to school. A food. Brilliant. Amazing. One of the challenges facing wildlife conservation is the idea that children are increasingly disconnected from nature. Making time for experiences outdoors within the school day has been one of the highlights of the Wildlife Champions Project at Willowbrook School. We get a real variety of children here, a lot of children who haven't been to the beach before. Being outside, exploring what's around them, they get excited. We were described as an, an outdoorsy school once and I thought that was one of the biggest compliments I've had about our school. But when you come here it's a bit outdoorsy. If we don't look after the wildlife like we are now, it's going to affect our living too. The wildlife in the world is dwindling. No one else is going to save it apart from them. We've got to give them the skills. We've got to give them the belief that they can do it. We've got to give them the passion to know that they can do it because this is our future. I really like reading books, but I also really like going outside. Do you know those people that work with animals? Like they go in the forest and like show them on TV. I want to be one of them. You drop a stone in a, in a puddle and the ripples go out and it's, it's being those stones that these kids look at and see the excitement and it just ripples out amongst them and you just don't know where it will go. Young children enjoying the natural world is absolutely vital. 